Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, we are going to go start to finish on your first cut with your Caesar Juliet cutting machine. So if you haven't already done those first three steps that I outlined on how to um, set up your machine as far as the settings in the uh, touch screen, how to load the blade and how to download the software. Make sure you've already done that. I am linking to it so you can find it. Now what we are going to do is actually make our first cut. So because this is a Caesar Juliet machine and because I think that Caesar Easy Weed is a really, really good material to start with, no matter what cutting machine you're using, we are going to start by making a um, a first HTV design. Okay, so the, the um, machine I have plugged in, we're gonna power it on by clicking the power button on the front. And um, we are, the front touch screen is gonna load up. I'll get you a closer screen here, or a closer shot of this, but there's not a whole lot that you have to do here other than clicking cut settings. Now, once you click cut settings, by default, Easy Weed comes up, okay? So we're cutting Easy Weed, so we don't have to do anything else. All right, so now what we wanna do is move over to the software and we will get our design set up and then we will begin the cutting. Okay, so once you launch the Caesar uh, Leonardo Design Studio on your computer, this is the screen that you are first going to come to. So there's obviously tutorials and the design library and a couple of other things um, that you have to do here. If you haven't already set up your, um, <clears throat> registered your machine, you're going to want to do that, okay? So you can do that from right here. You can see I've already done it. It's telling me my serial number already, so I'm all set. Now, when you are ready to design for the first time, just go down here to this tab called Design. That is going to open up your artboard, your virtual cutting mat. <clears throat> now, because this is our first um, cut, what we are gonna do is do something very, very easy. We are just gonna go to the design library, which is found over here on the left side panel, and we are going to find a design that we want to cut, okay? And I normally would say to find, you know, a, a solid color, large type design that you wanna cut, but the Juliet is so good at cutting small, intricate designs that it really is okay to pick something that's, you know, a little bit more challenging. So what we are gonna do is we are going to pick this pumpkin it's around Halloween as I'm you know recording this so we'll do that so once you select it you're just gonna click open and it will open it on your artboard for you then you are going to have some <clears throat> ability to size your design so right now what you can see is that my design is only 1.32 inches um, across that's pretty small so let you can cut it this size if you want it but let's just cut it a little bit larger um, and I'm enlarging it by grabbing a corner nodule and pulling that in okay so now you can place your design wherever it is that you want on your on your artboard keep in mind that by default unlike other craft cutting machines that cut towards the top the Caesar Juliet is actually going to cut down towards the left bottom. Now you can, you can change the position, but just keep that in mind. You put it up here, when you go to send, it's gonna automatically pull it down here anyway. Okay, so again, first cut, we're not going to do anything else with this. We are just getting familiar with kind of how to move around the software. So let's go now to click send design. Now, what this is going to tell you, and see how it moved it down here? This is what I was kind of, you know, warning you about. There's a couple of things that you need to do. First of all, if this is being cut on HTV, as it is for us, we need to mirror the design. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna mirror it. If you want a weeding box around your design, which is a square around your design, a little bit outside of the design itself, which will help you with weed weeding, you can check that box. I would recommend that. I usually make them manually anyway, and it's, you know, it's a really nice little feature to have as just a checkbox. Then you are going to have to decide, do you wanna use the cutter settings, which are the settings that, you know, we found on the touch screen of the machine, or do you wanna change the speed or the force? Again, this is our first cut. We are going to use the cutter settings. Standard blade is being used. You don't need to change that. The one thing that you are going to want to, to change, and for this first cut, we are going to use a cutting mat. So I want you to stay on cutting mat. Um, we're using the 12 by 12. So just 
Again, don't make any changes here. Now, one thing that you are probably going to need to do is if you have set up the Wi-Fi connection like we did in that previous video that I said the three steps to do before your first cut, okay, you still have to take one more step. Now, you can see that mine already says it's connected by Wi-Fi, but if yours doesn't, you wanna click this gear here, and that is going to ask you how you wanna connect your machine. When you click connect with Wi-Fi, it is going to ask you what, this is gonna all be grayed out, okay? It's gonna look like this. And it's gonna ask you for the IP address. You are going to go back onto your machine into the settings where it asks, it tells you um, the into the Wi-Fi settings there, and then it's gonna say on the touch screen what your IP address is. You need to paste that into this area and then it will, the two, the, your computer and your machine will connect and when the connection has been successful, it's going to say up here that it has been successful, okay? So now you are ready to send this to the cutter. Now we need to load the mat and material into the Juliet, so don't send to cut yet. Let's get that set up. Okay, we now are ready to load up our mat and material. So here is your mat. Obviously, I'm going to take a piece of just orange HTV and place it on my mat. Now I'm going to, this actually needs to be trimmed up a little bit. Well, we'll just leave it as it'll be fine. Okay, so. So you want it to be flat. Okay, so remember, the design is gonna cut further down into this area. Now how to load the mat. So this, the Juliet has pinch rollers, which are very, um, they're, they're really good quality rollers that are going to create a firm hold on your mat and material, preventing it from sliding around. So what you need to do is on the back of the machine, there's a lever that you're going to need to press down. Pressing it down pulls the rollers up, allowing you to slide the material in. Now over here on the left side is a gray, um, guide and that's where your mat needs to be lined up with and you're gonna roll slide your mat pretty much all the way through all right and then you're gonna put the pinch rollers down by lifting that lever bar back up now what you can see is I can't move this mat at all okay and that's what we want so we are now ready to well first of all we can adjust our material we can adjust the position of the mat. I'm just going to trim this off a little bit. Um, by using the control on the, on the um, touch screen, okay? So wherever your blade is, that's where the cutting is going to begin. So if you want to have your blade, if you want your cut to start in this bottom corner, which is where it's showing you in your software, you need to have your mat pretty much all the way through. All right, I'm going to go back to my computer. Actually, I'll just turn my computer around here and all I'm going to do is click send to cutter and it's going to begin the cutting process. It's going to ask me, are you, do you want to confirm that you are sending? Yes. Listen to how quiet it is. Okay, when the cutting is complete, you can just eject the mat by pushing that down button and then you will be ready to weed your material. Now, again, we made that weeding box, hopefully you can see, so that we would be able to weed. And you can see how easily this is weeding away. And then, obviously, you just need to weed out those other areas of the design. which depending on the color of your design can be you know, somewhat easier and more challenging to see. But you can see that this just cuts really, really well. Okay. And I've cut some really small things and they, as long as that blade is set correctly, 
and you are using, I would, again, I would stick to the default cut settings, especially as a beginner. Um, it, the Juliet will do a really good job at all um, sizes and dimensions. It's extremely precise and delicate. So that's our full design that we have cut. So again, if you are a beginner, I would highly suggest that you start with HTV for your first cut on your Juliet. If you're looking to add the Juliet cutter into your craft room or your small business, um, I am linking to where I would highly suggest that you grab one. There's lots of different bundles and stuff and options that you can get. Of course, I recommend that you keep extra blades on hand so that once you find that really good um, cut setting for, say, heat transfer vinyl, you don't need to tinker with the blade anymore when now you go to cut paper. So keeping extra blades on hand is a really good idea. There is a bundle with that specific um, thought in mind and of course you can buy the extra blades um, on their own as well if you are looking for more tutorials more videos I've got all of them if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help make sure that you check out silhouette you it is relevant to all vinyl cutters and printers not just silhouette all right see you guys soon